Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of a window only on the Mac operating system. So sometimes you want to take a screenshot and you don't want to get the kind of background, you just want the window and you don't want anything else. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button. This will help you keep up to date with the latest Mac news. It only takes a moment, but it really helps to support the channel and the work that I do. So to access the screenshot utility, the shortcut for this is Command, Shift, and then 5. And this is going to load up this little bar here. And this has several options on how to actually take a screenshot. So these two options here are Capture Selected Window and then Capture Selected Portion. So this one is not necessarily what we want because this is going to be able to capture everything within this light box here. That includes the background of this wallpaper, which we don't necessarily want. However, if we select Capture Selected Window, then this is going to allow us to have this camera icon and then it highlights what's going to be taken a screenshot of. So if we want to take a screenshot of this finder window only, you'll see that if we mouse over the window, then it has this kind of shading here. And it means that if I click this button now, then we have a screenshot that's been taken of that particular window. So if I go ahead and double click on the screenshot I just took, you can see that this is actually a transparent image. It's got some of the shadow under the window and none of the wallpaper background in the back. So this is just a much cleaner way of recording screenshots without any of the wallpaper backgrounds involved. Another option here is that if you press Command Shift 5, then you can press the space bar and that will toggle between the window and then the selected portion as well. So you can use that as a shortcut there. And then you also have various options here. You can get the screenshot tool to save to different locations, for example, desktop documents, screenshots, etc. Or you can select another location where you want those files to save. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac tutorial videos on my channel. Please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.